students this video is powered by edgeline championship our today's topic is go kart chassis analysis this is a basic video for beginners who don't know why and how to do part analysis so let's start doing analysis will take an example of front impact analysis before performing this test let's see the importance of this analysis it is important to check the strength of car also important for material selection as we can do same analysis applying different material properties to select desired material we can also calculate factor of safety and determine the weak part of chassis which may damage due to accident and also while performing this we can ensure driver's safety Moving forward, let's begin with the assumptions and basic information. The model is sample go kart chassis on which we'll perform the test. The software we are using is Ansys Workbench. The type of analysis we are performing is finite element analysis. This term is itself a vast topic to study. As per the request, we'll give you a brief. introduction about this topic in next video assumptions for calculating forces we consider the mass of vehicle with driver is 200 kg and assume that vehicle is counter with the impact force at 60 km per hour for a second in front part of a chassis This will calculate it by the Newton's second law, and the approximate force we'll get is three thousand five hundred newton. After getting force, we'll select um select one material that is AISF four one three zero. We you can select as per your convenience. So let's open the Ansys window for analysis. Now we are here in Ansys Workbench. So from toolbox, we will select the type of analysis we are doing. We are doing here static structural analysis as impact test we can do in this analysis. So here you can see there are seven steps to con to cover for doing this analysis. First, we have already done by selecting the type of analysis. second is engineering data here we can add the material which we want as we have already made the video and uploaded in the channel how to add a new material in ansys workbench there we can add aisf 4130 here now geometry we can by double clicking here we can create a geometry itself but already we have a geometry so we just import our material here so our material we have go kart chassis i had it in recent views so i can just click here if you want from your computer you can browse by clicking here we had our material so moving forward and carrying the analysis we had to click on modal analysis we are we can perform the next steps it is loading the chassis will see here soon so this is a chassis which we have uploaded we can see it like that zooming it so this is our chassis now let's start with the project first is here we have a tree diagram so here is model uh, we have uploaded geometry and geometry is completely okay therefore here is tick mark now after this come to meshing here for meshing meshing is a part where we divide the part in multiple pieces and while doing analysis we can observe the impact in each of that piece so we had to do meshing 
meshing is just done as here while clicking meshing we can see here the display the relevant size like if we go to sizing we can do here core this is core we can turn it to the medium or fine how the the fine chassis as fine as chassis as um, improve the result here is static structure uh, as we have seen previous slides the assumptions we are we had to apply those assumptions here so first is load we had to apply loads are here loads are different types so we are applying here force as we had calculated our force and next is support without support we can't analyze a part so here is two things we had to analyze there's two things we had to mention first is support we had taken fixed support and we just click on the face of rare side and apply here we can fix we had fixed the rare side because uh, impact analysis is done in front side so fixing rare side or the hub is uh, giving the same result so we had fixed the rare side of a weak of a chassis then now forces apply applying force on the face front face uh, like i will give you example here uh, after applying the force we had to give a proper magnitude uh, there are two types we can uh, we can mention force here either in vector form or in component form uh, let's main uh, let's give it in component form here is components components means we can have coordinates x y and z coordinate here so we had to see the coordinate here as we have mentioned this the coordinate we can we are getting is y so we had to apply force and y component and our for, force is 3500 newton but after seeing the direction of y it is in plus so we had to apply in minus so that we can apply here force come correctly here we can see re, uh, see the arrow and this arrow implies that our force is in right direction so after applying force we had to just go to solution solution we uh, we can had the things which we want like if we come to stresses there are equivalent stresses if we come to deformation how much deformation uh, is happen so we can do this also so just here we are just taking two results so let's solve the analysis after solving just wait for a while for result So that's it we are done with our analysis and this is the result here we had it is equivalent stress after having this equivalent stress we can calculate our factor of safety that uh, equivalent stress upon ultimate stress it will give us the factor of safety uh, or then total deformation how much it happen it will deform it will and we will see it about by deformation by the video as if you will see this you observe that chassis is deforming very much but it is auto scale if we have it on true scale will sure will surely get there is no such deformation in our chassis so our chassis is safe this is all about the analysis and i am just giving you a basic and rough idea about how to do analysis and you can do your analysis as per your calculations and chassis for 
more videos you can add on comment section now next step we are doing is meshing meshing is dividing our part in different pieces different different small pieces as small as pieces as greater as result or as fine as result so here if we click on meshing meshing we have the properties of meshing here here are different properties of meshing we will we can see but for now we are doing just general meshing or just simple meshing not by adjusting any property uh, for the faster result just updating the mesh it will generate doing many iterations we'll see it is So it is done with the meshing. After meshing, we'll move to a static structure. Here we had to add the conditions which we are given in uh, slides, previous slides. So first condition is support. Without support, we can't analyze the thing. Here is support as we are doing uh, analysis from front. We can fix two parts either a rear side or the side where we join our wheels that we, where hub is attached but for now we are we are fixing rear part applying the region here this face uh, just apply here so we had fixed the rare portion of the chassis now after fixing we had to apply the force or the load so we'll apply the load here for more videos uh, you can add on comment section the request of other videos and thank you for watching this video